Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm here with another Sarah Coventry box from Sally at Vintage Discoveries. I've organized and uh, cataloged everything in the box, so uh, let's just put it to the side and see what we have. There was a previous box that I did a video of from Sally uh, that I was... Uh, very pleased with and once again I was very pleased with this box had a great combination of necklaces rings bracelets earrings um, and uh, very few duplicates I'll do the duplicates at the end so the first piece I have here is summer magic from 1964 and this is only half of the summer magic piece there's a actually a, a silver chain that goes with it as well and the thing that um, differentiate summer magic from some of the other uh, white beaded necklaces of Sarah Coventry are these um, textured beads, these white texture beads. Another necklace that I got is this one. And this is white satin. And I'm going to just sort of bring it up close to the camera like this so you can see even though it looks like those satin covered beads, these are not satin covered. These are just a plastic bead that look like that. A very, very good look. And you don't have to worry about the satin part getting dirty. Um, this um, necklace was supposed to be 51 inches long and came with a 17 inch extension. 1967 so a great you know long loop it around necklace now there's no way that this particular necklace is 51 inches I get out my ruler here we're looking at four times eight and a half so 32 30 uh, four inches so I look at it I was trying to figure out what was going on and it's pretty obvious right here that the necklace has been taken apart and shortened but that's that's okay it's uh, a very wearable necklace as it is and I can always look for the uh, 51 inch and the 17 inch one that makes the real set the true set I guess you would say um, get some more necklaces here here. These are uh, kind of similar. I like this series of necklaces. This is Splash. Whoops, this goes this way. Splash. It's a silver chain with a fish. And Splash was from 1975. And there was a whole series of um, these, three of which are uh, we're in this box so there's splash and then very similar to splash uh, in style from again from 1975 is this called the big apple again silver tone with the chain really fun and uh, very wearable and then I there's a third one, and I'm not sure where it is in the box, which is a butterfly. There it is. Okay. There's just so much variety of Sarah Coventry that I just love. Uh, I love collecting it. So here's Papillon, uh, French for butterfly, and. Uh, this one was a little bit earlier, 1973. Here's another necklace. This one in gold tone. This is uh, Spring Posy. And there's the little posy. It has a flat uh, herringbone, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, not quite, not herringbone, but a flat um, gold tone chain and 
little extender on this one and there's the uh, Sarah Coventry hang tag posies from 1979 I was uh, pleased to get this zodiac necklace um, the zodiac series from 1970 um, pleased to get it simply because this is actually my zodiac sign, Taurus. I have a Leo one, which um, I'm happy to sell to anybody who is a Leo. And I'm just looking to see a few more necklaces here. This is called Summer Skeen. I'm not sure... Uh, the significance of the name. I like these uh, white shapes on the gold tone um, chain. So some nice stations, very wearable, um, easily paired with other gold or white and gold chains. And this is from 1977. I know that um, some people say don't put your jewelry into plastic bags because then the moisture can attack it but I don't close these and it helps me keep them untangled um, this is a set I've seen fairly often um, for sale online there's uh, move this out of the way so there's uh, clip earrings the necklace it's playing on the back this is called Golden Rope. It's from 1976, and there is a brown version of this called Tortoise. Um, I, I haven't seen um, the Tortoise version except in pictures. I haven't seen it ever for sale. So that would be something uh, worth watching for. I'm not sure if I would wear this. It's, I, I, it's the sort of thing I would wear normally, but I have so much wearable jewelry now that um, my Sarah, some of the Sarah stuff I just don't wear. So next, I'll well, try to do the pins, and then we'll do earrings. Um, so this is an interesting pin. Um, it's called Split Trick, I guess, because of the split in it. I've heard it said that this is for, a, uh, you, it's a pin you put on, uh, and then you hang your your eyeglasses from it. I'm not. I'm gonna. Tr I'm not sure how well that would work. Like, I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe you're supposed to hang them. See, I'm kind of challenged when it comes to these things. My glasses, I don't think would hang very well. Um, I've also heard that you could put it sort of sideways and put your scarf. Or hang your scarf sort of or tuck your scarf in there to use it as a scarf clip um not sure about that this also comes in a silver tone and the it was first issued in 1973 it's one you see quite a bit of for uh for sale and then i have the um this looks very much to, to me this looks very much like the um, the one with rhinestones. Now that I've totally forgotten the name. Um, the bird with the, the rhinestones on it and then there's winged earrings. Anyway, this is the pin called Peace from 1971 and I think that little bit at the, it's just the, the dove perhaps sort of carrying or maybe it's just the dove's beak. Anyway, uh, Peace from 71 and then a few uh, gold tone pins I like this one um, it's called Ivy and there is um, also a silver, t silver tone set you can collect uh, earrings to go with it this is from 1968 so very wearable um, gold tone pin and I like the fact that Sarah had things that were both gold tone and silver tone um, sort of you know collect for your preference now this one 
has an interesting name. It's from 1962 and it's called Sea Whispers. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like seaweed. I'm not sure why it was called that, but it's a lovely brooch. I, I love the design, oh, the leaves, just the texture on the leaves and the shape of the leaves. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then this one is another gold tone brooch. This one's called Demi Fleur, which means half flower. So a flower that's sort of half filled, half not. Uh, again, a brooch, you could wear it this way, you could wear it this way, you could wear it this way. And um, you could get clip earrings to go with it. And I think, let me check my little piece of paper. You can also get it in silver tone. Here's some more of the pins that were in uh, my box from Vintage Discoveries. Um, this is called American Beauty. It's a lovely rose pin, a little, um, there we go. Sorry, I wasn't focusing. Um, a little uh, more vintage style. Um, and it first issued in 1961. And you can get clip earrings to, to match this pin. Another rose pin, and this one's called Antique Rose. Um, there's a bracelet, clip earrings, pierced earrings um, to go with it, and a ring. So quite a set that you can uh, uh, collect. I'm not uh, big necessarily on... Um, rose pins I have nothing against them I just uh, not something I've thought to collect um, but those are, are two very nice pins I particularly like the um, the American Beauty the more vintage style pin um, this pin is called carousel and it's just a standalone pin it doesn't have earrings or anything and I think this design would have made great earrings but it's you know I'm in a miniature version um, from 1978 This is uh, both a pin and uh, a pendant, a necklace pendant. I'm not sure that this chain goes with it. The chain is not uh, marked Sarah Coventry, but the pin definitely is a Sarah Coventry piece. And this is called Woodland Flight. Um, deer's deer. The deer fleeing through the forest or... And this is from 1958. There is uh, earrings, clip earrings, that you can get to go with this set. And I think there's just uh, this one more set. This actually is a pin with earrings. So this is called Satin Petals. And so there's a shiny and a textured set of petals on the uh, flower. And then the clip earrings are a miniature version of the pin. Gorgeous set. And I'm thrilled to get um, sets in boxes from Sally because it's much more difficult um, when you've just got one or the other and you've got to collect uh, the additional pieces. So... That's it for the pins. Uh, move on to some earrings. I was able to complete a set, um, I think, um, from the previous uh, thing I got from Sally. There was the Fashion in Motion pin, and now here are the earrings. Um, so that I was able to complete a set with this box, so that was uh, um, a nice uh, bonus when that kind of thing happens. I got this pair of earrings. So these are known as reflections with the hematite uh, style, probably glass. There's some, they're not heavy enough to be hematite. And uh, there was another set of earrings um, in the box, 
but the pattern on the side of them is different and this is the metal pattern uh, of the the bezel here um, is what is in the Sturt event book the reflection set is from 1957 and there are there's a ring there's a men's set um, like a tie clip and uh, cufflinks not sure what other pieces might be in this set um, so very classic uh, very wearable pieces then there's this set of earrings and this set of earrings um, I sometimes see paired up with the Petalure uh, brooch but these are uh, a single pair of standalone earrings clip earrings and they're called demure and a pin would have been one lovely to have with this a matching pin um, so who knows the reasoning behind these things these uh, first were issued in 1961 roses butterflies and apples or fruit uh, these are called Adam's delight uh, another set of clip earrings again from 1961 and I don't I can't remember if I have the pin to go with this um, the this set uh, has a uh, a twin set in gold tone so there's a, a lar much larger pin of the apple and then um, excuse me and then a set in gold tone so I'm not sure if I'll be collecting or trying to collect the, you know, the gold tone versions of silver and the silver tone versions of gold things. But you never know what I'm going to come across when I'm out searching and uh, thrifting and buying. So um, always a possibility. Um, I did mention there were a couple of rings. I don't have, I don't think I have any other, or I have very few Sarah Coventry rings. This is a nice... Uh, Quite wearable um, and adjustable ring and the design is called Continental um, I'm not sure what year it's from I forgot to write that down so it looks like Jasper but it's it's a, just a glass stone this is another adjustable ring not something I'll probably wear you can see it's adjusted quite small there and it's very tall it's called blue lace and you can see both by the sort of the crystallization in the plastic stone and just by the lace design of it, how it probably got its name. Uh, once again, I forgot to write down the year for this, um, but it's it's just too tall, I think, for me to wear. I'd be catching it, banging it on things, and I'd it's pretty enough that I, I wouldn't want to damage it. So that'll just go into just into the collection. Uh, rather than uh, into the things, the pieces that I wear. I really do enjoy the pieces that I wear. And then I thought I already had this piece. And sometimes it's hard, just depending on the lighting, to tell. Um, but I now have the one gold tone piece in the Young and Gay set. So I have the full Young and Gay set and many duplicates of the bracelet. So this is the gold tone version of the bracelet that uh, was issued in 1959. And it's the only uh, gold tone piece in the Young and Gay set. So a nice, a great, a great piece to get uh, in, uh, in a jewelry box. And... This is probably my favorite piece from the whole box. And uh, this is Vienna. You can zoom in it there a little bit. Um, there are clip earrings and a pin to go with this. This is from 1964. Um, these beautiful marquee uh, rhinestones and then the uh, moon shape or crescent shape with the uh, clear rhinestones. A lovely clasp lovely safety chain this um, I will now try to collect the whole set because I think it's just gorgeous and I some of these pieces you don't appreciate their beauty until you actually see them in person seeing them in a photo just uh, doesn't have the same impact so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you there you go 
and focus on that. Isn't that beautiful? The rhinestones look a little yellow in my camera, but they certainly don't look yellow at all um, in person. So there's Vienna. Now there were some pieces that I couldn't identify. Um, this is another set of earrings that are sort of similar to reflections, but you can see that the pattern on the uh, bezel is different. Um, and the type of clip is different. I don't think these are Sarah Coventry at all, but it's still a pretty wearable um, pair of earrings. Um, this ring isn't marked Sarah Coventry. It has a, a size and a serial number of some sort in there. Looks like size six because it's not nine because it doesn't it looks like it could go with the um, reflections, but you can see that it's a piece of glass and there's a bit of glue keeping it in the setting. And it, the setting is not anything like the actual reflection. So I'm not sure why that was part of the set, but it looked like it could match. These are earrings are just marked SC. There you go. Is that? Not sure we're getting that clear enough. Oh, I guess it would help if it was this way. There we go. SC. So I couldn't um, find them in any of the books that I have, but uh, a nice set of pierced earrings. And I'll just have to put them in my database and uh, try to sorry try to identify them at a later date so those are the sort of unidentified pieces and then these are the duplicates and and the thing about buying a whole um, bunch of uh, a whole box of Sarah Coventry this actually was two pounds is that there are bound to be some duplicates but that's okay so um, uh, Jade Garden this is a very commonly found pin. I've seen, I've got three of them now, and I see it for sale all the time. But it's a lovely pin. Certainly, I'll try to sell this one. Um, pinwheel. I don't have a set of earrings to go with this, but um, a beautiful pin in itself. I have the full set, so I will be hoping to divest myself of that. Um, two copies of the Petalure pin which is, I have the Canadian set, and a set of Petalure earrings. And I actually have a spare set of Petalure earrings, so now I have two sets of Petalure that uh, I can sell very inexpensively if you are looking for Petalure. Um, Nature's Choice, I love these earrings. I love this set, I have the full set. I also have now two sets of earrings. They seem to be, um, very commonly available. Uh, Chinese modern, gorgeous. I love the the watermelon, the rainbow effect in the uh, these earrings. I have the full set already, so this is a duplicate set for me, and I'll be looking to sell the earrings. And uh, the daisy, I have the full set of this already. This is the earrings. Um, and so once again uh, I'll be looking to sell uh, those earrings very uh, similar to the satin petals but I like the the smooth this is more sort of a less formal perhaps set whereas the satin petals is um, yeah just a little more formal uh, with design so very wearable uh, two very different designs uh, two different uh, feels, ways of, uh, of look, two different looks to them. Well, that about does it for my second Sarah Coventry lot from Sally at Vintage Discoveries. Thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, return for my next video. Bye now for Passion, Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes.